the real homeland, Kusar. In this corner of the world, the natural scenery changes quite often from the northern cold to the southern heat. The hot temper of the locals is shaped by the surrounding mountain peaks. The environment here is as if the inhabitants of this region are in harmony with the majestic nature. The mountains surrounding this region change and enrich not only Azerbaijan's ecological system, but that of the whole planet. A great number of Shahs fell in love with this region a natural masterpiece of Azerbaijan with unique flora and fauna, Kusar. Shahdag Peak. Because of its geographical location, this area surrounded by the highest peaks of Azerbaijan, Bazar Duzu, Bazar Urd, and finally Haydar Peak, is called the Northern Gateway of Azerbaijan. Hello, Kusar. Located on the border with Dagestan, the most northern settlement of Azerbaijan, Gusar is 180 kilometers from Baku. It is situated at the foot of the Greater Caucasus Mountains at an altitude of 715 meters above sea level. Gusar was formed in 1930 as a result of the separation from Gubar County. It is assumed that man first appeared on this territory in the second millennium BC. The first construction of the present Kusar region appeared here in 1810. And the original name of the region was Geyser. They say that in ancient times, Geyser tribes were living here. This word gradually changed and became Kusar. Russian poet Mikhail Lermontov, who was exiled to the Caucasus due to his free thinking, lived in Kusar during 1825 to 26. Here in Kusar, he created his works Prisoner of the Caucasus and Ashuk Garib. A large part of Kusar, 20% of which is covered by forests, is a tourist area and the most visited territory of Azerbaijan. Here one can find a large number of historical monuments attracting the attention of travelers, incredibly beautiful scenery and villages, charming with their originality. The inhabitants of these villages receive everyone who sets foot on their land with hospitality and warmth. Twenty-seven kilometers from the center of Gusar, there is a village called Enik 
In ancient times, a fortress was built in this village to defend it from Arab invaders. Today, only two fragments of this fortress remain. They say that in 1288, this fortress was destroyed by the Mongol Khan. There is also a mosque called the Taj Mahal, which is worth seeing. In the village located on the top of a high mountain and protected by natural barriers, people lived even in ancient times. At the foot of the mountain, there was a fortress that protected the country from Arab raids, and this village was a strategic point in those times. This fortress is located at an altitude of 1100 meters above sea level, behind the gorge of Salavat, and is called Enik Gala. Founded in the 13th century, the fortress was built on the south of the high peak, just above the steep vertical gorge. Only two fragments remain of the once magnificent impregnable fortress today. It is assumed that the fortress, built with shards of rock and river stone, was destroyed in 1288. Similar to the Taj Mahal, this mosque is located in the center of Enig village. It is said that this mosque was built by a man who had visited India and saw the real Taj Mahal. When he returned to the village, he decided to build a mosque of the same shape. I must say that specialists not only from Azerbaijan but also from Turkey and Russia took part in the construction of this mosque. Resembling the Taj Mahal, the mosque is about 300 years old. The frescoes on the walls of the mosque are still striking with their brilliance. It is said that the walls of the mosque were painted with paints obtained from the roots of various plants. When you see these frescoes, the feeling is unique, of course. It is impossible to describe these feelings in words. In this region, almost everyone dances the Lizginka. It is quite a complex dance, which requires a very temperamental technique. The main feature of the Lizginka is a dance on the big toe. Lesgins call the dance Lesgihengi. Experts say that each movement in this dance has its meaning and its history.
Azerbaijan is located at the crossroads of the east and the west. The languages and traditions of all people living in the country are preserved here. The same can be said about Kusar. Being part not only of Azerbaijan, but also of the entire planet, Kusar is a tolerant land embracing a large number of languages, religions, and cultures of different peoples. All this increases the attractiveness of Kusar. And even in the most remote mountain village of the region, you can witness multiculturalism. On the border with Russia in Kusar, there is another beautiful village, the village of Elik. This village is located 2,350 meters above sea level. Only 14 families live in this village. And every time the villagers look out the window, they observe extraordinary beauty. The inhabitants of this village are so good-natured because of the charm of the surrounding nature. Located at an altitude of 2340 meters at the foot of Shahdag, the outermost village of Elig is characterized by its natural beauty. Nature is untouched here. And the villagers have managed to keep it pristine and untouched both in and out of the village. To come into harmony with the unruly and unchangeable natural elements of this place is not so easy. Both in the village of Elig and the village of Yirgikek, the personalities of the villages have been shaped in this way. The inhabitants of the mountain villages have confronted the harsh and changeable nature all their lives, merged with it, took care of it, and finally nourished themselves with it. Yergikek is one of the highest mountain villages in Azerbaijan. It is located at an altitude of 2,370 meters above sea level. In the Lesgi language, Yergi means long and Kek means gorge. And that is the name of the village is translated as Long Gorge. From the Kusar villages of Kuzun and Laza, there are two roads to Yergikek. Tourists from different countries come here every year. It is winter here, eight months out of 12. In spring and summer, however, the scenery in Yergikek evokes a unique emotion in everyone who sees it. You look and you can't help but enjoy it. In a word, Yergikek has a delightful nature. Kusar, which is called the Mother of Shahdag, is one of the main areas of relaxation in Azerbaijan. The rich flora and fauna of the region have good conditions for the development of ecotourism. It is these conditions that attract tourists from different countries here. One of the most beautiful villages in Kusar is called Lachar in Lesgi, 
or Lazar as we call it. One part of Lazar is in Kusar, and another is on the other side of the mountain in Gebele. They say the inhabitants of this village moved from the Gebele side to the Kusar side and called their settlement the same as here, Lazar. Lazar is spread out in a very beautiful place. Situated in the foothills of Shah Mountain, in the Caucasus Mountains, this village attracts tourists both in summer and in winter. Lazai is the best place for recreation and recovery of spiritual balance. Lazai is called the tourist center of Azerbaijan. Lazai is situated along the way of caravans at an altitude of 1300 meters above sea level. The landscapes here are fascinating. The waterfalls falling down in steps from the rocks amaze your imagination. The village has only 26 houses inhabited by 130 people. The most famous architectural monument here is the mosque in the center of Lazar, which is 300 years old. Lazar is so beautiful, so interesting and so rich that the more you walk around it, the more you want to walk. The more you admire, the more you want to admire. I fell in love with the masculinity of these rugged mountains. Tell me, why is the fog that embraces them so white? Come, my friend, look into my eyes, me who trembled before their greatness. Hear the words of Mehrali. The soul of the mountains beats in my heart. The most famous Lesgi dish is chkan. This dish is cooked either in an oven or in a tendir. If you come to Kusar and have not tasted chkan, then you have not tasted anything. That's what they say here. Chkan is the most famous dish in the region. Now, Ravina Hanum will tell us how to cook this dish. Mrs. Ravina, hello. Good day to you, welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, Ravina Hanum. So, what do we need to make chkan? Chkan is a kusar dish. It is cooked only here in kusar. It is a leskin dish. We need to make dough, and for this we need to take water, salt and flour. Oh, let me show you. The dough is like this. When you knead it, you have to wait five minutes. Then we take the potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Potatoes, oil, dried herbs from the mountains, and then onions and cheese. As far as I know, it's called something else too. Oh yes, leskin pizza. Leskin pizza. Leskin pizza or chkan comes in two varieties with greens and without them. As far as I know, it is this plant growing in these places that gives a special taste to the dish. And to taste this classic flavor, you have to order chkan with evelik. So, here you go, let's get cooking. The filling of the chkan can be varied. Therefore, there are several kinds of this dish, with greens, cheese and chicken. And of course, the flavors are different. Chkan is made from very healthy herbs. And there are several kinds of this dish. For taste, some add meat or they add other herbs instead of evelik. The chkan is ready. I will now share it. Both the taste and the smell of this dish are delicious. Slicing it, you can feel the aroma. As the lesbians say, chosnu shura, that is, enjoy your meal. There is another miracle here. It is located at an altitude of 2,000 meters above sea level, the Gasha waterfall. It gives the village a special attraction. In this area, Waterfalls have a special feature. They freeze in winter.
the freeze is in motion and this attracts interest to them. Professional climbers hold original competitions in the conquest of ice waterfalls. For beginner climbers, it is good practice. Well, tourists love to try this extreme activity. We are in Kusar, in the village of Laza, at the foot of another waterfall. It is also frozen in winter, and hundreds, thousands of tourists come here to conquer this icy peak. In this case, of course, they are helped by professional climbers. When you come here, you will get your adrenaline pumping. Now we're going to try and climb a frozen waterfall. Naturally, we will be helped by professional climbers. Firuz will help us, God bless him. By the way, we climbed Perigala with him. So if you want to feel adrenaline, come to the frozen waterfalls in the village of Laza. With the help of a professional instructor, you can climb here. Adrenaline is guaranteed as a fact. We are going to Kusa, to Laza, to the frozen waterfalls. When you come to Kusar, you can enjoy nature. But don't forget one thing. If you don't go to Shahdag Winter and Summer Tourist Complex, consider that you have not been to Kusar. These adventures will give you a very different experience. You can see Shahdag. Its top is closed by fog. the peak of the Haydar Aliyev. You can look at these peaks at any time of the year. In wintertime, one of the highest mountains, Shahdag, can be extraordinarily beautiful.
It snows here from November, and the snow doesn't melt until March. Winter sports are popular here. Skiing, snowboarding, paragliding, mountain climbing. One can enjoy any of these sports. There are all of the conditions to do that. Here is the first and largest ski resort in the country. In the summer and winter tourist complex Shakdag, both young and old will find entertainments for themselves. Moreover, there are five hotels at the complex and one can use their services. In Shakdag, there are over 20 kinds of entertainment and one of them is paragliding. It is called the Parachute of Gorges. I want to experience this flight and show you the whole process. Farid will help me with this, and Farid is the tandem pilot or co-pilot. So, how is the wind? Very good. Can we fly now? Okay. Well, let's fly. There is a lot to do here. There are legends and magic stories, mysteries and wonders in every season. All in all, you can be sure that a trip to Kusar will be much more exciting than you expect. Another curious village in Kusar is Hezde. We're talking about a village 53 kilometers from the district center called Yagun by the locals. Although the name of the village has several etymologies, preference is given to the variant in which the name is translated as majesty. It is noted that the villagers were moved here by Shah Abbas from Iran and settled around the tomb of Sheikh Junaid. We are now in the village of Hezre. Here is one of the most important historical monuments of Sheikh Junaid's mausoleum. In 1460, Sheikh Junaid died in a battle in the village of Hipchag, but he was buried here in Hezre. And this mausoleum, in honor of Sheikh Junaid, was built on his grave later. And the inscription on the facade of the tomb bears witness to this. It says here that the mausoleum was built in 1544. After the sheikh's remains were taken to Ardabil, his son, according to his father's will, built this mausoleum in 1544. Note that Sheikh Junaid was the grandfather of Shah Ismail Khatai. The village of Hezre is also known for its rope walkers. There is still a rope walking competition held here.
these competitions are an integral part of the festivities. You can also watch the rope walkers training in the village. Every year, rope walking competitions are held in Hezra. We are about to witness this competition. I have a tightrope walker named Vitali standing next to me. Vitali has been doing this for 15 years now. Hello, Vitali. Hello, welcome. Thank you, Vitali. Usually these professions are handed down from generation to generation. Is that correct? Or is there some kind of school for this? My father taught us. We were two brothers. Both of us were taught by our father. Do you have to be an athlete to do that, or is it something that you can learn from childhood? Well, you should have a heart for it. You should have courage. Oh, yes, you need heart and courage, but you also need physical fitness. Aha, uh -huh, now let's see what Seema shows us. He is ready now. The villages in the Kusar region are brighter than in the others. The inspiring nature of these places, the ancient history, the color scheme, all must be seen in Kusar with your own eyes. If you want to experience and see everything with your own eyes, come to Kusar. Surrounded by mountain peaks, the area of Kusar will make you fall in love with it. Here you can ask any villager who knows these mountains like the back of their hand and everyone will be more than happy to guide you. Or you can also turn to professional guides and climbers who are also here. We used the service of a professional guide, Tagrul, and decided to climb with him to the highest and most beautiful peak at an altitude of 3,751 meters above sea level, named after the great leader of Azerbaijan, Heydar Peak. And so we went, that is our guide Tagrul, cameraman Namik, cameraman director Zaur, and myself. Climbed to the top in four hours. It was four hours of travel full of adventure and excitement. Just look at all this beauty. It was the first time the team Real Homeland climbed to such a height. To conquer this peak, to see such beauty on the way to our passion, and to fall in love with it, the feelings are inexpressible. As you climb higher and higher, you live wonderful, delightful moments of your life. Homeland team has climbed to 3,751 meters for the first time. This is the peak of Heydar. This peak was first conquered by Azerbaijani climbers in 1998 on May 10th, and they call it the peak of Heydar. Heydar Aliyev Peak is located on the highest point of the Gizilgaya Massif. There is a beautiful view of both Kuba and Kusar from the top. Located on the highest point of the Gizilgaya Massif, 
in the Bashdag mountain range of the Greater Caucasus, on the top of the Shahdag National Park, the Haydar Peak offers a view of both Kuba and Kusar, as well as Bazar Duzu and Shahdag. Everywhere you look, nature inspires you and makes you fall in love with it. At least once in your life, climb to the top just to experience these unique feelings. That's the moment you won't just discover the top, but you'll discover yourself. There is another interesting village in Kusar, Hill. It was the district center until 1960 and is located 17 kilometers from the current district center. The carpets woven here are Sumach al Chasi. They are the chronicle of Azerbaijani carpet weaving. Even today, these carpets with unique patterns are highly valued. The cuisine of Kusar also remains in memory for a long time. And besides, it is not a simple moment. It is a delicious and enjoyable moment. We start the acquaintance with Kusar cuisine with kusar bread. Kusar residents call it kherek. This bread is baked in tendirs peculiar to the northern zone. These tendirs are called kherek and differ from the tendirs of other regions. Kusar has its own variety of bread. It is called both kherek and lesgin bread. Sara Hanum, hello. Hello, welcome. Thank you. So you're going to tell us how to cook lesgian bread. Yes, I will show you how to bake it. Built from the ground, a square tendir looks like an oven. Other lesgian dishes are also cooked in this type of oven. So you have rolled out the dough and what do you grease it with? With milk and egg and then we shape it. The top of the lesgian bread is pierced with a little help of a special tool made from a scallop of a turkey or rooster. This process helps the hot air penetrate more easily into the dough and the bread bakes faster. After five minutes, the bread is ready. So is the bread ready? It's ready. Give the bread to the baker and another piece. The good thing about this bread is that it will stay fresh and soft for days until you eat it. Can I try it? Ah yes, here you go, bon appétit! This is lesgin bread, kherek. And now what do you want to cook? Aluga. What is that? Greens. Is it mixed greens or... Yes, it's mixed greens, a dill, cilantro. And what is this? Oh, that's uh, cottage cheese. Ah, cottage cheese. And that's egg. And this is butter made in kere. That? Oh, yes. Melted butter, salt. An egg, that's how I break it. Six eggs. Yes, a little salt and a little bit of this. That's the top of it. They also say there's more of this kind of dough. Is that just what it's called? Or is there another kind too? No, just like that. Yes. 
Here, now we yani dip it in the tandir to bake it. That's it. Pişirecek. Ah, that's great. Give it to me. Here, it's aluga cooked in kusar. Bon appétit. The most popular form of greeting in Kusa, populated mostly by Lesguins, is Jan. Every sentence begins and ends with this word. This phrase adds a special sweetness and softness to the conversation. As much as nature makes people here hardy, courageous and warlike, so much it makes them kind, warm, human-loving and caring. Kusar is a region where one forgets about time. Every minute here passes interestingly. And that is why people enjoy every moment spent here. Here the day does not pass. It is imprinted. Discovering Kusar, one sees life in a different light and realizes that he simply has not noticed many things before. And in Kusar you will discover not only nature, but the region itself. Our trip to Kusar was very rich and interesting. We will not forget the emotions and impressions received here for a long time. I wonder, once you leave Kusar, what else is impossible to forget? Well, there are many opinions. Residents of Kusar. Daredevils, patterns, the word Jan brother, ancient mountains, upbringing, sincerity, delicious cuisine, delicacy chkan, aura, Friendship, Kusar Laza, hospitality, Jan brother, homeland as it is. You will be glad to discover Kusar not by hearsay, but firsthand. That's how we discover Kusar and fall in love with it all over again. And you can come and fall in love with Kusar. See, learn, and discover. <laughs>